Hello and welcome back to Vampire. So, we are just about to return to Lady Ashbury. After solving the blackmail uh, question, and uh, I do feel good about it. I suppose it had to stop. Maybe Ashbury is not really a kind hearted woman, but <clears throat> I suppose at this point we just don't know. So, we're just gonna assume that. Uh, Oh boy. Oh, that was fast. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You're the killer! Compassion only hides your appetite. Hiding your true appetites behind a facade of compassion. Bravo. Very clever indeed. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So the accusation was true. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady, the blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so, as a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you shilling? have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. About me? <clears throat> am I a vampire? A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word. Defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon. And that you shall remain. An Ekon is a vampire? So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... Uh, but a branch of the immortal tree. Are you an Ekon too? Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. Well, the cross seemed to work. Also, we get burned by sunlight. Voice in my head? I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Are you my maker? Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. How could this cause offense? How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. I see. Why was I left for dead? I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? 
That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. How are vampires created? That's a really good question. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Could it be a mistake? So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. About your ladyship? Swansea allows you to kill? Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. <clears throat> no one suspected you? And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Yeah... I don't know how much that is worth right now. You were the murderer who just killed some random guys. At the start, right? They were not like, really they were not really dying. How do you know this brotherhood? What do you know about this brotherhood of St. Paul's stole? The brotherhood is well known amongst London vampire society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. Why did you save me? Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. What is scowl? What type of vampire is a scowl? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. William did not create me. Why do you keep naming people that supposedly created you? William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. How old are you? I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. <laughs> this is not all the truth. Very well, but I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. <clears throat> who granted you eternal youth? And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. About London? What happened to London? I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. What is it you fear? What is it you fear? Fear has long since <clears> flown <throat> this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, 
But it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. Could be the vampires. I met some vampire hunters. Wow, Jonathan. That's one way to put it. You mean, <clears throat> I killed every single vampire hunter I've ever met and sucked their blood? And probably just left their limbs uh, all across, uh, randomly distributed around their bodies. It is just, it is just how it goes. Head bashed in. That's, that's pretty much a guarantee. <clears throat> so I met some of those guys. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Is it a cult? You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society, and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. They're literally in every single, uh, street corner. Once glorious? Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. I see. How many vampires? Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Will they all be friendly? Do they have a reason to? Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. <clears throat> That's my favorite move as well. Who attacked me? Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. I see. I guess that's it. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. We need to go up. I suppose that guy was dying anyway, or maybe even died. Does she have new conversation options for me? Good evening, Miss Howcroft. I need blood. To no, we don't. I'll leave you. On every street corner. Damn. Simpletons, these nurses, bred with no respect. <clears throat> Investigating in this game is not easy. So we need to go back to our uh, room. It's technically an office, but we kind of sleep there. So... Wait, didn't see that? <clears throat> no, this is just... I think this is what we should have read first day. Because this is about the office. We need to analyze the sample. Actually, we need to rest in the bed. Spend some points. <clears throat> Maybe start with that. Well, we can pick an ultimate skill. Abyss. You create a shadow vortex at your target's feet. Coming to life, the shadows interrupt the an enemy in the area and inflict tremendous damage. 
you focus your power to boil your target's blood, causing it to violently explode, dealing damage to the target and the thing nearby. So, <clears throat> I suppose this is... This deals 630 damage to one enemy, plus 230 to... Uh, adjacent enemies. This deals 600 damage to a lot of enemies. And this deals 200 damage? Not exactly sure. This transforms me into a beast. Furious blows. The beast teleports itself to all enemies around you and strikes them with furious blows. Seems like this is a I think we're just gonna go with the Abyss. I'm gonna pick it up. <clears throat> also, let's increase our stamina. Six hundred. Let's let's go for more stamina. Why not? Let's confirm it. I don't know if it's possible to get rid of a skill. Because if that's possible, I might do it. <clears throat> Reports of the mysterious disappearances dis have escalated in the past weeks. It has reached the point where witnesses have to queue before recounting their testimonies to an officer. Although this phenomenon appears to be nationwide occurrence, the statements of the last 24 hours have converged around a single area in the country. Whitechapel, London. Yes, once more, the despised and loathed East End is left to struggle on its own, continuously overlooked by the authorities. Even <clears throat> while numerous families from the, this district report the unexplained uh, disappearance of relatives and neighbors. What has happened to these missing individuals? Where are they? The only link between them seems to be their health and their need for urgent medical attention. Until recently, it was a local secret that the only place to get help was a discreet uh, dispensary managed by unidentified Good Samaritans. But the place now seems to be closed, and no one has any news from that facility. Did the missing persons go to a more secret place? Have they been secretly, uh, discreetly moved to a more official service? One day soon, the London City Council's Board of Health will have to answer for this new mystery. You... <clears throat> sure? I, I thought that they're gonna talk about the... that, uh... Dead the vampire hunters, but who cares about those guys? This district is stable. I'm not really going out of my way to mess it up. Maybe we can check out the stats. We have 160 stamina. Do I need to craft anything? Actually, I don't. I do. To analyze. Okay. So I get more cures. Oh, I suppose I can do that. So if I do this, I can actually heal people. And uh Razvan Vasily was infected <clears throat> by Spanish flu but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Exactly. No one's gonna know more about this than Mr. Swansea. Chapter 3. <clears throat> Swansea, are you here? I'm taking your chair. Hope you don't mind. Oh, I guess you do. Evening, Edgar. 
Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I analyzed the blood. I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting mm. right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I may turn London into my realm. It's too dangerous. I have thought about it. Did I? I admit it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary <clears throat> this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Well, I did kill her, so... Attend Mary's funeral? Can we turn her into a vampire? I don't know. Would you even want that? I suppose I you can always off yourself to later. My murdered sister's funeral. Mary. I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. <clears throat> okay, where are we going exactly? Ooh, really? Um, seems like we are probably better off going this way <clears throat> and just uh, sticking by the road. So, what I was uh, going to say before, but damn, this game has a lot going on. <clears throat> that we can uh, craft some uh, 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 remedies, medicines, uh, that we can give to people to increase the health of the region. See them fancy clothes? Oh, this one's a top! <laughs> Only one died. Exactly, I'm too strong. What?
These poor guys. I very much doubt that they are part of some secret order. this stamina because health doesn't regenerate uh, by itself neither does blood and having more of them definitely helps but stamina does regenerate by itself and having more of it does help perhaps more so get in weapons ready we found I miss Christ, yeah. This is how we go to the funeral. Seems a bit crazy. I'm I'm kind of surprised that we are not soaked in blood. <clears throat> hey, hey guys. My dear sister. I don't know if I have the strength. Well, maybe there's going to be a bunch of thugs you can murder. What the hell is going on here? Somebody help! What is it, the AOE? Seems like it's a single target. What do you want? Somebody help! Hey there. Welcome, welcome. Are you all right, miss? I... I don't know. Who were those people? They, they... They wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't <laughs> come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Shaoshun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Anything Carnage. in here? This man's far too old to be Samuel. Am I looking for no. Samuel? By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. Holy Crusade is updated, but it didn't even have it. Okay, yeah, let's see. Can I check my quest log? I'm not so sure. I don't really check the quest log. Don't really know. Okay. What? Oh, is he still here? Why not go, Missy? Got easy. Maybe because I'm fighting so much. The game did say that it's gonna get easier if you fight.
Hmm. I don't know. What should I do? Some missions you need to do with fighting. Instead, I seem to have a, a 600 damage scale that gives me invincibility while I'm doing it. Okay, let's check out the map. Wow! What's up with the cemetery? Just all across the place. Ooh, Clay Fox! Who even buried him? Why? Okay. <clears throat> I know that I'm a vampire, but... Am I gonna go to the funeral? By... No, no, no. Not the funeral. Am I gonna visit the grave by myself? Or... It does seem like I'm gonna visit Mary's funeral, but... It does seem like that... It's quite late now, so... Why would you have a funeral? At this hour? Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. My mother would die if she were to see me in this state. I must wait. That's not what I wanted. Jonathan, go up. Well, let's just not kill our mother. But why even show up? I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I don't think she would be mad. Of course, you probably shouldn't open it. Hey, I killed my sister, but. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery. I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> that, that Avery is really fun at parties, I, I imagine. We have to turn her into a vampire. How could we not have that option? We must have that option. Come on. If she doesn't like being a vampire, a tough luck. Oh, Mary. Make her a vampire. If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. What if your mother comes back? Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was ki kindness incarnate. You like a hypocrite? Sounds like a bad joke. Well, I can uh, get behind many of these options. Well, I'm glad you're here, despite. You being kind of like me. 
feel like a hypocrite. She was kindness incarnate. I like that more. I don't necessarily want to make her funeral about me. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered. And... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How can I? Well, ultimately, like, what happened, happened. There's no way to make up for it or erase it or whatever. Like, tell me how. I don't know. How can I? I want to be a little bit unreasonable here. I'm learning every night. That's basically saying that I'm an alcoholist, and that's how I'm dealing with it, and I'm not dealing with it whatsoever. Like these are not really great options. So, like, Jonathan is really not dealing with it. How can I? How can I? I've destroyed my family, my poor mother. I can't even console her. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Not a religious man. <sighs> well, I, I get it. I, I appreciate you being here and your advice is, is good. I'm not a religious man. But she didn't say that I should do it. She said if I must. I don't know. You may be right. That's 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 a bit of a non-answer. Uh, I'm not a religious man. That's I'm not a huge fan of that either. Because she didn't expressly say like you should pray now, but like if you feel like it. I think you have some good advice there. Like I'm I'm most okay with that conversation option. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good, but be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. I don't want to do that. I didn't want to go with the religious angle. Reach St. Mary's Church. I don't think that's gonna go down well. Okay, let's see. We can't go there. Critical. Burn it, boys! <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. That's how it goes around here. I'm terribly sorry about that, but but just how it goes.
And off to church he goes, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin, forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Mm. This is a fight. Reverend Kane, you hate me too. This man stunned me with his faith, his crucifix. This is not good news. He did? It's hard to know where he can go in. It's, that really makes me hesitant to try doors. Like this. I just killed him. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. Oh, we were charmed. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. Um, I have no need for a kind ear. This is a personal matter, exactly. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. This is a private matter. I've made myself perfectly clear. This is a private matter. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain that lies <clears throat> beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest. As you seem quite adamant. Why is he so nosy? Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? It's none of your concern. Just know I cared for her. Just know I cared for her. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was murdered. It was an accident. It was unintentional. She was murdered. I see. 
And how are you feeling, my son? I fucking love it. I feel responsible. I feel responsible. <coughs> the pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I promise to find those responsible. Actually, I'm pretty sure she doesn't give a damn. If she was alive. I think, yes. I think you do that because you want to do it. Not because she would want you to do it. <clears throat> I swear it wasn't me. Uh, yes, but it's a bit of a wasted thing. Please forgive me. I don't know. I, it kind of really depends on what kind of personality you have, or I don't know. I swear it wasn't me. It's, it's a bit of a non-answer, or non-question. Please forgive me. Like, I suppose... That could be good. Having forgiveness. Or at least in his mind. So basically it's a symbol for forgiving yourself. Not really forgiving, but... You know, just uh, uh, what's a good way to put it? In a way, you just put it behind you as a very sad memory. I killed you. There's no. Oh, I killed you, my dear Mary. Forgive me. That that was you awfully have been specific. You've heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. <clears throat> Go in peace now, and live your life in the way she would have wanted. That was good. <coughs> Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God He wasn't all. overly religious. He was just genuinely nice. Meet Edgar Swansea at the hospital. Yeah, this district is not in the best spot. Best be your phone. Over there! There's one of them bad! There's one of them. We have to stop it! Oh my god! No! You're dead now. Okay, I need to heal. Stay back, please. Would you stop that? <clears throat> yeah, this is all about staying back. You wanna die? I guess that's what it's gonna be. So, is there a way where we can buy better weapons? I barely have anything. Best be moving on. can avoid these fights, but do I want to? I mean, it, it is just fun. Oh, what happened? Ah! 
Rest in peace, mate. Let's do heal. Well, he is nice. I'm not really using my blood to do a lot of uh, abilities because I like to have uh, heals ready whenever we need it. Oh, look at that. We're back. And pain are precious when binding you. You, I remember you. Fear be gone. <clears throat> I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me, made me this creature. What are you? I am the lamb. You are our champion. What are you? Tell me what you are. I am the whitened bones and blackened soil. The land made blood coursing through thy veins. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient Poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. I've had enough of others making decisions for me. Pretending to know how I should feel or behave. <clears throat> so the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Uh, or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> it's more likely. Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. Oh, Edgar Swansea. <clears throat> Maybe he can. Perhaps I should have considered the offer from that Cadogan fellow. What the hell is going on here? Anyway guys, uh, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching and see you next time.